right, chat. Are you ready for our main story today? Are you ready? All right, do me a favor and type hi, YouTube. So chat, I want to talk to you about something that happened recently in the VTuber community, uh, kind of making waves. Uh, that's right, we're going to talk about the VTuber blacklist. And there is not one singular blacklist. There's a VTuber blacklist going around. Um, a lot of these uh, tell people to not interact with another VTuber or to not interact with their content. So let's go take a look at what started this entire giant VTuber trend. So Ray Stingray uh, comes out and says, I found out that I'm apparently on a VTuber blacklist for other VTubers to avoid. I just came back from a break. For VTubing, it's just so much to take in. I've been feeling really out of place lately. This might not even be something I should post. I've always been really fond of this community. I generally try to be nice and support to everyone. We're really hard time making friends and I definitely keep it to myself. I'm really sorry if I ever offended anyone. I I've never had anyone approach me to tell me I have and I would have loved to have a conversation about it. I've never intentionally done something to make anyone feel better or out of place here. I've always tried to uplift others in this space. What's talking about is on Twitter, you guys can make a uh, list, right? You can make a list of your favorite VTubers, um, a list of people you want to talk to. Well, people have made Twitter lists of VTubers, including Ray, on a do not interact list. That is right. A public list that says do not interact with these VTubers. I just feel really weird. Why the f would anyone do that? I'm super fun hmm? the VTubing community. Would you do that? And I'm not saying anything bad. I'm just going to oh, talk exactly. To God, this is getting on my nerves. I just feel really weird and sad about this, and rightfully so. I'm super fond of the VTubing community, and I'm not saying anything bad. I'm just sharing my thoughts and feelings. Hearing something like this I didn't even know goes on behind the scenes of some streamers. This is just a bit I'm not entirely sure uh, how to say what I'm feeling, but yeah, I'm getting off of Twitter for the night. So chat, imagine you're in your lane, you're doing your thing, making your content, and these bullies, these groups of people are so jealous of you and your content and the things that you're doing, they have to put you on a list just to try to make you lesser to, because you're performing well they say you know what i'm gonna put you on this list to bring you down isn't that absolutely horrible and chat i want you to know these are absolutely real i went through the list that i was part of publicly and i don't want to out these people so i'm not going to show it on stream but i'm a part of a list these clicks that people are making is really gross, chat. It's really gross. So let's take a look at some of the responses. It's not from a public account to my knowledge, it's just something that's private between however many VTubers. So uh, this particular list that she's talking about was privated. Chibi says, sadly, there's a lot of bullying. I felt it too much love, Ray. Yep, I'm on one. Um, and I said, Ray, you're absolute ray of sunshine. I swear to God, I did not mean to make the ray pun. I'd sad that other creators want to put you down, but don't pay them any attention. You can see here how many people support you. Uh, Ebiko says, YouTube, we don't need them. And I love that. You don't need them, chat. Be you. Be the best version of you. Even Fifi says that's f***ed up. Don says everyone has their names on red flag pattern behaviors. They've experienced by folks viewers in their chats. That may also be VTubers. Or VTubers who are straight scam artists. Anything else is childish, I suggest they look up professionalism. Um, Dragon Spit says Ray. I don't understand how anyone could put you on a blacklist. You're too kind and sweet. Please don't let this get you to get to you. You have a lot of supporters from your friends and followers. San says again, childish behavior. I stem me from someone who sees no growth but again these are only people that want to bring you down you know honestly the most interesting thing about this tweet is a ton of youtubers quote retweeting how bad blacklists are are the exact people that would have a uh, private blacklist i i, I don't think that's true uh, any group of youtubers have personal grudges and put them on a list for their friends to avoid should some themselves be avoided at all costs i agree with you darius uh, mickey says oh you had to make a post about this last month after losing a friend to a rumor i even disproved it's so disheartening people seeing people give in to jealousy and instead of trying to build each other up. And so too, guys, I have lost friends over things that have happened, but they don't even bother for the details. They just, they're like, oh, block, and that's it, move on. I'm gonna show you my response to all this. All the Ninja Sanji stuff, of course. How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? I love the young people. So I said, I used to be so tied up in the community thought of me. Now I just do my own thing and I'm happier for it. List or no list, I'm proud of myself and my accomplishments and nobody can take that away. I, I'll be honest, chat. Put me on the list. I don't care. Because if you are that 
upset with me. I have that much of a problem with what I'm doing that you can't talk to me or you have a list about me, that is your issue. And if you have to put me on a list because you are jealous of the hard work that I put in, that's on you. So let's go take a look at a very important reaction, which I want to talk about, which is coefficient. Currently, the V2Me space seems so clicky and so high school lunch table s. It's a space where you can be yourself and make the content you want to make under the guise of whatever you want to be. You don't Chris need to rely on the V2Me community to be able to do what you want to do. Everybody's so worried about what the community thinks that it bugs the shit out of me. I consider the VTube community less a community and more of a space where you can create a community of your own. Based code take. A hundred percent agree. People will always hate on you. Whatever you do, there is nothing that you can do to escape being hated on by somebody. You cannot make anybody happy. The best thing that you can do in this situation, get comfortable with the people that are haters. So I like this as well. Co reiterating what I said when the NFT bro company tried wedging its way into VTube. The VTube community is clicky, drama ridden, and full of people who will speak nicely to your face if they can use it while stabbing you in the back elsewhere. I mean, we saw that with Celine. Uh, Celine, no I different know. than the distributor community at large. If you're making people see, if they seek to tear you down, if you're in your own lane and people are sending hate your way, you are doing something right. And that is absolutely true. If people are hating on you, you're doing something right. Uh, it will be mentally taxing. It'll be frustrating. Sometimes make you feel even isolated, but keeping successful and building your own empire. It does disgust me in a big way, chat, that, you know, Ray is having to deal with this and find this, right? Because not everybody has a lot of mental fortitude and having to deal with this type of stuff, it takes a toll on you. It does, chat. It hurts. So being added to these lists and not, and, and again, like we saw Ray here, she said it's uh, privated. Not not making it public and doing this behind their back is gross behavior. If you have a problem with somebody, you should communicate it with them. Be open, communicate. And if there is something that you see, question it, look into it and find out what is the truth. Because what you see in front of you may not always be exactly what is really, really true beneath the surface. And we take things for granted so much on the internet that you see a post and you go, oh, that's true, right? I will let you know, chat, every single thing that I follow up on the VTube review, I I look at it from multiple angles and I make sure that it's vetted because I don't want to share news with you that's false because then I look bad. So I want to make sure for everybody, if you're looking into information, dig a little bit, right? Look into stuff. Don't look at everything and take it at face value. I feel so bad for Ray that, you know, she's kind of uh, the person that sparked all of this, but everybody on Twitter was talking about this, right? Everybody went and looked and saw, oh my God, I, I'm on a blacklist or, oh my God, you know, these VTubers that I thought where friends were talking behind my back. If you're resorting to breaking down your friends or breaking down other people, you don't deserve a platform. You don't deserve success if you have to bring down other people to be successful yourself. So I seriously wish the best to Ray and for everybody else um, that was affected by this VTuber blacklist stuff. The best advice I can give you, chat, stay in your lane, do your own thing, and focus on your own success. So chat, everybody do me a favor. Say bye, YouTube! That is gonna be the end of what I wanted to talk about today uh, here on my YouTube video today. So guys, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate all of you. What do you think? Let me know in those YouTube comments down below.